The devotion I'm going to do for you today is about trust. And perhaps um, that trust is a little smaller um, than we think it is sometimes and maybe more manageable. So last weekend, I was on a four day canoe trip in the Boundary Waters with my husband and a couple friends. And it was our friend's first time being up there. Um, it was not my first time. I've gone up for 10 or more years, but it was my first time being the most experienced person in the group. Um, so I had picked a route that I thought was really great. We were gonna get to see some things. I had never been in this area before. Um, it was on the border route trail um, between the United States and Canada. And I looked at the forecast before we left and it was like really strong east winds, which <laughs> meant the wind was gonna be coming straight at our, at our canoe. Um, and I was like, oh well, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. But <laughs> by the second day of canoeing straight into white caps, um, it occurred to me that possibly a more seasoned canoe leader might have looked at the wind forecast and decided to do the route backwards so that the, the wind would be pushing us the whole way instead of us fighting against it. And, you know, I might still do that next time, um, but at the same time, we still had an amazing trip. And it's interesting, isn't it, how sometimes the measure of, of success, the most important measure is like how physically comfortable it was. Um, would it have been better to go with the wind? Of course it would have, but like it was a challenge. We overcame it. Dinner felt earned every night. Um, and we still saw things that I hadn't seen before. We had great conversations, etc. And so I loved the trip and I wouldn't have changed it. At the end of the trip, um, my husband read this poem by Wendell Berry called Manifesto. And there's uh, two lines of it I'm gonna read for you. It says, so friends, every day do something that won't compute. Love the Lord, love the world, work for nothing. And, uh, you know, canoeing against the wind <laughs> for no reason for a vacation um, is something that doesn't compute. And there was a lot of richness and things that came from that that I'm glad we all shared together. And so I just encourage you to do the same. You know, that sounds a lot like that verse from Proverbs that everybody quotes, um, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, do things that don't make sense. Um, but from the perspective of, you know, a canoe trip, uh, the image that comes to mind for things that, you know, don't make sense is when you're portaging a canoe between lakes and you've got the like canoe on your shoulders, um, and you're doing like a third of a mile, sometimes up to a whole mile of walking with the canoe on your shoulders, um, you can't actually see more than about six feet in front of you because the canoe blocks the, the sight. So you've got like, here are my next six steps, and then here are my next six steps. And even if it's uphill all the way, it feels a lot better to take the portage in six steps at a time. And I think that that is what leaning not on your own understanding means. Like, you don't have to feel like you can go the whole portage at the beginning, just can you go six steps? And I just leave that with you today as a little um, devotional about trust and how I think a lot of times it's not about these big decisions. Should you go with the wind or against the wind for four days? It's more about the small decisions. Do you want to go the next six steps? <laughs>